This year, it's been a nice turnaround for the Frenchman and great to see him stepping out into the light and showing us uh, the array of talents that he has at his disposal on a tennis court. Yeah, this man's grown, I think, uh, over the last few weeks in front of our very eyes in many ways. He seems to be a lot more confident in himself. And we'll touch on that a little later on because some words from Riccardo Piatti this morning uh, about the impact he's had. But this man, uh, no doubt about it, doesn't lack any confidence, does he? What a competitor, what a warrior. Was he dented last week by Novak Djokovic? Not well this week early on. He suffered from a fever. But that, it seems now, is in the past. This is how good it's got to be. Oh, that's cheeky. <laughs> uh, that time he was ready for it. It's a break for the defending champion. The world number one here has left it late in this set, but he's just turned up the heat on Gasquet. And he will serve for the first set. the best rally of the match by some distance a little bit of everything and how well Nadal did to hang in well this is tennis from another planet both guys hitting the ball with exceptional power and accuracy but it's the lungs of Nadal that are just a little stronger as the rally goes longer Nadal wins a very high quality first set, pushed to the brink by a rejuvenated Frenchman. Gasquet gave that everything, but for him, not quite enough. Nadal, a set away from the final. Got it. That's a super run. And it's ominous for Gasquet at the moment. The mountain has just grown. First game, second set. Oh! Jaw dropping. Amazing control and the stretch. Too so good. Such vision from the young man. Understands the dimensions of the court so well knows what space is to cover but of course he's got uh, the genius in the hands to be able to produce shots like that Oh, 
wherever you go, you find him, don't you? It doesn't matter. He can try and be one step ahead, but it is a very difficult task. Oh, depth is incredible. And the speed of foot. Five-time champion does it again. It's a sixth straight final in 2011 for Rafael Nadal. Started the week very slowly, but is accelerating onwards and upwards here. Tested today, for sure, for a good set. Gasquet was quality, produced some wonderful shot making. But Nadal broke him down in the end and ran away with things. The world number one's a winner again. He's into the final in the Eternal City. Straight sets today, five and one. Rafa, congratulations. Such a high level first set, mm. so competitive, and then woof, you're through. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, it was a tough first set. I think Richard is. He's playing very well another time, having a fantastic victories during the week. So happy for him because he's a very, very good person, very good guy, and um, I'm happy to see him back at his top. You know, uh, I think I played well. Uh, I saved a few bread points, important bread points at the, at the first set, so very happy. I, I saved that, I played very focused, and in the second set I stayed at the same level. I probably Richard goes down a little bit. You, yeah, you've had a tough week, really, with the illness and everything. Do you think you're back to you're better than you were last week? Well, I don't know if I am back at better than last week. Uh, probably the conditions here are a little bit better for me, but I don't know if I'm playing better than last week. Uh, the, the most important thing, I'm health another time. I, I am able to play uh, at my 100%, so that's the most important thing. Being final is a fantastic new for me, Be playing all the finals in the clay court season. Very, very positive, uh, very important personal satisfaction for, for that after a tough week. So right now remain the most difficult thing, win tomorrow, but I want to enjoy that match. Uh, we will see. More than just the finals in clay court, you've been in six finals now in a row. You've been in all the Masters 1000 finals. It's a great year you've had. Yeah, I think I, I'm having a, a very, very good year. Uh, very happy about everything. Uh, it's the sixth straight final for me. So. That's very, 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 very positive new. No, it seems like I'm playing well, and uh, I cannot say any more things. No, I'm happy for everything. Do you care who you play tomorrow? Well, both players are playing uh, well. Djokovic did lose a match uh, for all the year, and uh, Andy always is a really tough opponent. So, will be a nice match tonight between between them, and uh, I'm there to to try my best tomorrow against both of them. Buenas tardes. Bueno, creo que ha sido un partido eh, bonito, ¿no? Richard estaba jugando a un muy buen nivel, había ganado partidos muy buenos, Andreev eh, muy fácil, a, a Montañés eh, que siempre es un rival muy complicado. También le había ganado y después a Federer y, a, y ayer a Verdi, o sea que estaba veniendo con gran confianza. Creo que el primer set ha sido difícil, él ha jugado agresivo, ha, pegado, ha utilizado muy bien su, su mejor golpe, que es, el, que es el revés, y ha servido bastante bien, ¿no? O sea que mm, ha sido difícil, he tenido que esperar a, hacia el final del primer set para, para hacer el break, he tenido que salvar alguna situación complicada con mi servicio. Por suerte eh, lo he conseguido y, bueno, muy, muy feliz de estar en otra final, es una... Es una satisfacción grande después de una semana que no ha sido fácil. No, yo creo que, que cada día ha ido jugando mejor después del desastre del primer día, que yo creo que también vino un poco eh, ayudado por, por la fiebre que luego me entró por la tarde. Supongo que ya empezaba a, a tenerlo por la mañana después de, del primer partido. Cada día ha ido mejor. Eh, y por suerte ayer y hoy me he encontrado muchísimo mejor de, del virus que tenía, no, no tengo fiebre ni nada y esto pues siempre te da una tranquilidad grande. 
y evidentemente eh, da un paso hacia adelante importante y ahora pues a intentar jugar un gran partido mañana. Gracias. No, siempre tiene importancia todo, ¿no? Evidentemente, tanto con el 2-0 me tendría que haber ido en el marcador y sentenciar el partido ahí, porque aparte estaba viento a favor, he cometido eh, especialmente el segundo punto, ¿no? Con el 15-30, una derecha que, que me he quedado parado. Y después también con el 2-1, eh, 30 nada, me he quedado parado en la primera derecha. Son cosas que, que no pueden pasar si quiero tener opciones de ganar mañana. Soy consciente que Djokovic está jugando a un nivel altísimo y hay que aceptar que el otro está jugando mejor que los demás ahora mismo. Jugar con lo que, con lo que se tiene, luchar como siempre hasta el final y si, y si me gana, pues a seguir trabajando para la siguiente. ¿no? Eh, esto es el deporte, el deporte no, no siempre ganar, es el esfuerzo para, para intentar superarse y ganar a, para ganar a Djokovic, a Djokovic, especialmente a día de hoy, hay que superarse ¿no? y, y eso es lo que voy a intentar. Si no mañana... En el siguiente, y si en el siguiente, en el siguiente. O sea que veremos lo que, lo que pasa. Yo estoy muy contento por el torneo que estoy haciendo, por la gira de tierra que he hecho. He disputado todas las finales, ganando dos, perdiendo una y ahora otra vez en la final. O sea que contento por todo y ahora a seguir luchando y a seguir trabajando para mejorar. Y yo creo que este es el camino. Los dos últimos partidos jugando más agresivo de cara al partido de mañana y también de cara a Roland Garros. Muchas gracias. Gracias, un abrazo. Okay. Yep. Rafa, terrific performance. You were clearly very pumped up at the end. Delighted with the way you played. Yeah, sure. No, I think I, every day I played a little bit better. Today was uh, another uh, step, I think. And Richard was playing really well. Not during all the tournament. I want to congratulate him because he had a fantastic tournament, winning very, very good matches. So it was a very difficult match, especially in the first set. I had to save a few important red points, but uh, myself worked well done the forehand too. So in general, happy about everything. You know, being in another final after the, uh, the, the beginning of the week was a little bit tough. It's, uh, it's very, very important for me and I'm very happy for that. Well, you're through to the final. Novak and Andy have got to play tonight. Will you watch that match? And what are your thoughts on the outcome? Well, uh, probably Djokovic is the favorite because he didn't lose a match this year, but Andy always have a, enough potential to, to beat him. No? So we will see. No? Uh, it's going to be a nice match. Uh, we'll see what's going on. No? Uh, going to be... For me, both opponents will be very difficult tomorrow. Well done. Thank you.